The Lanier Delta III radio receiver and remote have been around for quite some time, and for good reason. It's reliable, easy to program, and easy to install. So right now we're going to take a look at how to install it and how to program it. Let's get to it. The Delta III radio equipment was used in the 1980s and 90s on a lot of operators that didn't have radio receivers built into the units. A lot of that didn't come along until the mid 90s, 2000s, like you find today. These receivers though can be used on just about any operator, as long as you can get power from the operator to the receiver, which most have. The receivers and the remotes work on 310 megahertz frequency, and it uses a fixed code, which you can set yourself. You'll find a lot of this Delta III equipment on older Rainer openers, um, overhead, Genie, and any other operator from the 80s and 90s that didn't have radio equipment built into it. As far as programming it, it's quite easy. If you take the radio receiver and you turn it over, on the back you'll see this hole here and inside there you'll see eight switches. These are called dip switches. And these are two position switches, either on or off. And you can set these to whatever you want. We recommend that you don't set them to all off or all on. So just stagger them or alternate whatever ones you want to put on and off. So if you take a small screwdriver and you look inside the um, receiver, you can move these switches to whatever position you want, on or off, and slide them back and forth. So for this particular one, I'm going to set it with number one, number four, number five, and number seven in the on position. All the other switches will be in the off position. Once you set the switches to what you want, you then take your remote control, which is a DT1, one button remote, you turn it over and you'll see a screw right in the center that's holding the visor clip on. Take your screwdriver and just loosen that screw until you can move the uh, visor clip. And once you loosen that screw on the back, you can move your visor clip out of the way. Then take your screwdriver and then put in the small slot at the top and pop this cover off in the back here. And inside you'll see the switches that are similar, just like the radio receiver, and you'll see the battery in there too. So right now all these switches in this remote are in the off position, and I want to put up and match the ones I put in the radio receiver to the on position. So the ones in the receiver I put one, four, five, and seven in the on position. So I'll just go in here and switch these one, four, five, and seven to the on position. So now that the switches in the remote look exactly like the switches in the radio receiver. And that's all there is to programming a remote to the receiver. And then if you ever get any other remotes, you'll just take your remote that's working and just match the switches in your new remote to the working remote. And then you're good to go. Once you have your remote programmed with the switches the same as your radio receiver, now you can mount your radio receiver to your operator. The first thing you want to do is just loosen these three screws on the top of the receiver and put these brass brackets that come with the receiver to them and tighten them down so it looks like that. And then if you look at your radio receiver uh, real faintly on the back here, it's numbered. This is number one, number two, and number three. Number one is your common ground, number two is your relay, and number three is your power. So if you look on your operator, usually the older operators had a terminal strip with the screws, and you'll loosen those up on your operator. Then you can slide these up underneath the screws, and then tighten these down, and now the radio is installed to the operator, and your remote should work. If you have any questions about the Lanier Delta III radio equipment, radio receivers or the remotes, feel free to email us at youtube at garagedoorzone.com. Visit our store at garagedoorzone.com. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.